hold it. Really, Wong? Don't you think you've had enough? I think it's time you quit. Why? Don't you get bored by it all? Kung Fu instruction every day. It's a hell of a way to earn a living. It's the only thing I know, and I like it. <laughs> I don't agree. I'm getting fed up to the teeth. Day after day, the same thing. And there's not any money in it, either. What have you got to moan about? Well, I need a change. What for? I do. I need it. And now. <laughs> not tomorrow. I never took it seriously, you know. <laughs> that rubbish about sacred principles. I want money in the bank. <laughs> That's what counts. Money can buy anything. I need cash. I don't know what's got into you. <laughs> what's with you, anyway? Have you forgotten <laughs> what you were taught? <laughs> You're ignoring the teachings. <laughs> and I don't like that. <laughs> it could mean trouble for you. You mean you still believe that crap? I believe it. Of course I do. Why not? <laughs> what for? You're a born loser, man. You're never going to make it. You need some money. I need to find fulfillment, and then I'll have lived a good life. <laughs> One day, I'll show you what a good life is. I'm not going to waste my time around here. You wait and see. Just give me three years. That's all I need. Don't leave it too long before you make it over. I'll be waiting for you. Huh? Your money. Come on, come on. Money, your fare, sir. Why? And tip, you're meant to tip. Really? That's so? <laughs> now get out of here! Huh?
he maketh me to lie down in green pastures. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Excuse me, miss. Uh, perhaps you can help. Does a Mr. Go Hog Han live here? Oh. Oh, what's wrong? Something the matter? I'm afraid he's dead. He's dead? It's terrible. He was in such good spirits. He went out for a drink. What happened then, I, I don't know. But yesterday, he was discovered dead. So sudden. He seems to commit suicide. He fell from a roof. It's terrible. I... I... I can't believe it.
You know him? You don't have any proof at all, or any witnesses. So I just your story that it was self-defense. What can I do? You could get the chair. And what sort of chair is that? You what? What's with this guy? He wants his own special kind. He wants to have his own maid. The fool! Are you putting us on? Give us some proof, or you're gonna fry, boy. I told you I don't have any. God damn you! I told you, what's the matter with you? This is meant to be a democracy. You can't push people around. I've got my rights. Oh, you're right. You got your rights, boy. Yeah, it is meant to be a democratic country, but you still need to have proof and you'll need bail, otherwise I'm gonna lock you up. And then you can rot in prison until we meet in court and sort it out there. I don't know anyone. In that case, be our guest. You can make yourself at home here. Well, nothing would surprise me. I've learned to be philosophical about this kind of thing. <gasps> what the hell is this guy on about anyway? Can you tell me that, for Christ's sakes? Nothing, really. These Orientals are all the same. They think different. That's all there is to it. Well, I don't trust this fancy talk. Hello. Yeah, I understand. All right, I'll let him go. Yo, free to go! Get the hell out of here, do you hear me? Get out! I'm not surprised. A sudden change of fortunes in the scheme of things. Thank you, sir. God damn you!
The name is Scott Lee. What is yours? Wong Han. Are you a Chinese? You sound American. My grandfather. He was from China. Oh, really, was he? Nice to meet you. It's very kind of you. There's no need to thank me. Please, sit yourself down. Please. Did they tell you who put up the bail for your release? Not yet. Do you know who bailed you out? No, I don't know, and I'm not sure I understand. I did. It cost me two and a half thousand dollars. But why? Because I like you. That the only reason? No, it's not. I want you to find her. Oh. Who is she? I'll pay well. You'll get five and a half thousand dollars when you're finished. Hold it. Reconsider. Chinese know how to be grateful. Sorry, I don't mean to disappoint you, but there's something about the way you made your request I don't quite like. I must turn you down. baby. What the hell do you want? Leave her alone. Damn you! Thank you. It's strange. America is meant to be free, but what a lie. Nothing is free in this country. Everything has a price on it. Oh, 
Is he why you've come here? Mm. Oh, you're on a visit, or are you working here? I have a problem. Go oh. Hawk Han, does the name mean anything to you? I came here to meet him. You ever met him yourself? Oh, why should the name mean anything to me? You've heard about him. You read of his death in the papers. Oh, I read that, that he committed suicide, but uh, why are we discussing this? It wasn't suicide. He had become a very wealthy businessman. He'd everything going for him. He'd no reason to kill himself. Something must have happened to him. You know something. All right, I'll tell you. Oh. <gasps> where I work as a waitress. I'll tell you about it over coffee, okay? <laughs> well, let's see. Where shall I begin now? It must be about two years ago, he decided to open up his own gymnasium with the money he'd managed to accumulate over the years. Mm, through hard work and putting a bit aside each week, you know. But the gym also had a Turkish bath. I worked for him there to pay my college fees. Anyway, it was a great success. Almost immediately, we were turning customers away. It soon became the in place to go, and within a year, he'd made it clear $50,000. It was really fantastic. But it wasn't a last. He had some bad luck. It was really terrible. A pupil, young kid, was a lawyer's son. During his practice, he tried to break a brick by using his head. He hurt himself. The father chose to sue to take him to court, and he and he got a huge amount in damages. The lawyer knew his law, and he won the case. He took Go Hok Han for every single cent that he'd saved. He was broke, without a penny in the world. Then one day, a group of strangers came. happened to him? Nothing at all. They talked briefly and then he followed them. After that? He just disappeared. Nothing was heard for four months. But then one day, he suddenly turned up again and everything returned to normal. Shortly after that, he received your telegram. Then he went for a drink. Next thing I heard, he was dead. Thank you. Are you leaving now? I've heard all I wanted. You've been most helpful. I need some time to think. I'll see you soon. Bye. What do you expect me to do? Say something. Like what? Well, first of all, introduce yourself. Even though it's a coincidence that we met at all. <laughs> you did rescue me. That doesn't just happen every day, you know. 
Well, say something. Don't just stand there. Yeah, I guess you're right there. Hello. I'm Susan Clark. How do you do? What's your name? Wong. Wong Han. Wong Han, what are you doing tonight? How should I know what I'm going to do? Tell me. What do you mean? I mean, where are you going to go to? I've got nowhere. I don't know a single soul in this city of Los Angeles. Well, then, where are you going to go? Where my fancy takes me, I guess. Really? Your fancy just go anywhere? I wander around. You poor boy. I've got a better idea. Why not come home with me? Where to? Come on. You don't have to, you know. Come off it. You did do me a great favor today, didn't you? I suppose so. All right. Teach me the art of self-defense. Okay. dollars a month while the owner's away from town on his annual vacation come on come in okay make yourself at home <laughs> come on. you can put your bags down over here oh let me help right now shall we begin oh why all the hurry Would you like a drink first? Coffee? Milk, please. Like this. Your turn. Ready? Hey. Ha. Ha. Hey. Ah. Oh. oh, well, what do you say? Have I got it right? Better than that, you're good. Oh, no, I don't believe you. Really? You learn very fast. Just a minute. You'll need some money. Take this. What for? It's for you, for your tuition. No, you shouldn't. But it's the right thing to do. You can pay me something else. Like what? Let's go to your bedroom. Oh. Now, sit down a moment. Now, listen to me. I want you to think carefully. Can you remember what those five men looked like who took Hawk Han away? Uh, yes, I think I can. Each of them seemed to play a part, like an actor, you know. The black one, was he exceptionally tall and thin? A flashy dresser, wearing an earring? Uh, oh, yes, you're right. 
He had a large gold one. It looked so good, I wanted it for myself. Susan. Yeah? Please, do me a favor. Oh, what? I want to find all of them. There are still four I have not met. You are the only one who knows what they look like and where I might find them. You must help me. You're my only hope. It's impossible. I don't know where they are by now. They could be anywhere in Los Angeles, for all I know. This is an enormous city, you know. I understand. Los Angeles is an enormous city. It's impossible. No, it isn't. Not for men like them. They need meeting places where they make contact. Crooks use the same old dives week after week. So, will you help me? Please. Oh, all right. Good, thank you. Bye-bye. Uh, listen, where are you gonna go to now, at this hour of the night? This is your house. It's not permitted for me to stay here. Please, will you keep these for me? I'll return for them in the morning. I'll see you then. Have a good night's sleep. Au revoir. Last night. Oh, my God, not on a park bench, weren't you cold? It was freezing out. Uh -huh. You'll catch pneumonia if you're not careful. Where are we supposed to go after we've had breakfast? Well, I'm ready to face the world. What do you suggest we do first? You can start the car. Where to? You said last night there was a Chinatown here. Yes, there is. All right, then take me there. Chinatown it is. Stop the car. You wait here. Watch where you're walking. You trot on my shoe. Your boss is expecting me. He knows who I am even if you're too thick to understand anything. Now, you take me to him.
see him. Yes, I saw him running away. He seemed to be in an awful hurry, though. Are you sure he's one of the men who left with Gohawk House? Yes, I'm sure. Good. In that case, we'd better be gone. Uh, Come on.
Susan. Oh! Oh! Susan. 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 Get to pick me up now after I've finished work, huh? Mm. Wait, you'll need some money, won't you? <laughs> I know you don't have any. Really, I can spare it for now. After all, I'm going to pick up my wages later. Okay, I'll pay you back. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I'm looking for this karate school. Come back here! <laughs> 
Hey, Susan. Uh, on hot. Uh, uh, Sorry to be late, but the car was stolen. Uh, come on, round the corner. What? Come. Let's go back. What happened? Come. This is a good one here. Well, how much are you asking? For you, $60 a week. It's a giveaway, and it's lady. Oh, that's $40 a week, and that's oh, my rock well. bottom price, dear. It looks good. It's huh? an attractive color. Well, the paper looks good. Everything anyway. about it's good, lady, I'm telling you. And how much for this one over here, huh? For you, my dear, $70 a week. Uh, it's a bargain in excellent the condition. Does it's it the best part. Does it have a radio and a cassette recorder? Uh, so of course it has thing. everything in it. Oh! It's got everything you want, lady. It's a bargain. Uh, huh? I'm telling you. Hey. Uh, hey, come back here, lady. You missed a bargain, I'm telling you. Lady, you missed a bargain. Uh, here you are. I found just the right thing for us over there. Susan, this is the one. Let's get it. This one, you sure? Yeah. Fifty dollars a week's okay. But that's all I've got. But we save on hotel bills. Well, how long are we going to stay here? Till I find the rest of those guys and get myself a job. You saw that man with the black hat, did you? Uh, Could you see what he looked like? I don't know. He had his hat pulled down. I couldn't see, but he looked horrible. It was terrifying. <laughs> hey, wait! I think someone's inside. Are you looking for me? Are you, Sasaki? Yes, I am. Did you kill him? Why say that? Why should I commit murder? Someone killed him. Gohak Han was mixed up in all kinds of shady business dealings. Did you know that? Such as, tell me. Such as drug smuggling. I don't believe you. That's up to you. But you had better listen to me for your own damn good. Understand? Your threats don't frighten me one little bit. You should be. Why, what are you gonna do about it? Hold hey? it. 
Why should I help you? All right, if you can't help me, then who can? Mm, Mark Welby. Where can I find him? You can try the race course. I've some questions for him. That's if you live to us. <laughs> Did you see anything? Not a thing. God damn it, where have they gone? Look, there they are.
Let's go. Tell the trainer. All right. Thank you. 
if you refuse to speak to me or don't tell the truth, I'll fill you so full of holes you'll be just like a pen cushion. You, you, you. Uh, all right, you bastard, I'll make you talk. Now, why did you murder Gohawk Han? Come on, talk. And why are you interested in this girl? Huh? Bastard. Oh. <laughs> the drugs. Uh, 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 uh. I swear I'll kill you if you dare lie to me. We know Goha Khan didn't have the drugs on him. He was supposed to deliver an assignment to Taipei, but he was intercepted and died for his pains. But he passed it on. He must have given it to you because he had no friends in the States. He didn't know anyone except you. Now hand them over.
How'd you guess? But you, you're dead. You committed suicide, didn't you? I took you in as well. It was a trick. I put a substitute in my place, relying on you to take the urn back to my family in Taipei. However, things didn't work out. Well, you've succeeded very well so far. The drugs are worth one million dollars. In other words, five million Hong Kong, a lot. And I could have been set up for the rest of my natural life. But that's all finished now. You're crazy. You'd have never have got away with it. You'd have been hunted down, and they'd have killed you. And how could you betray your own friend? You're right, how could I? But I was counting on you. I knew you. I figured you wouldn't let me down. I knew that you'd take the urn and return it to my family. But now it's all gone wrong. And it's all because of you. Not my fault. No. Well, now I'm going to kill you. <laughs> you fool, you. You're no match for me. I'll break you apart. Just wait and see. I'll snap your bones. You've lost the right to live. Well, we all have to die one day. Your time's now. You shouldn't upset yourself too much. Partner, you see now who your Chinese friend is? Hi, FBI Narcotic Squad. We've had you under surveillance all the time. We knew Go was still alive, so we released you on bail, hoping you would find him. But I'm afraid we couldn't tell you about it. Otherwise, you might have blown a whole operation. But we've been working on this case for over a year now. Please, you mustn't hold it against us. Let's be going. Hmm? You'll get a medal for all the help you've given us. Thank you. 